The Secret Service agent that was on the course did a fantastic job. What they do is they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. So that is a Palm Beach County Sheriff in Florida after another security scare involving former President Donald Trump and what's being investigated as a possible assassination attempt. This happened yesterday at Trump's golf club in West Palm Beach. Sources tell ABC News a man with an assault style rifle was near the golf course as Trump was playing. ABC's Christiane Cordero tells us more about the suspect. This morning, officials are investigating another possible assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. It happened while Trump was near the fifth hole of his golf course in West Palm Beach. A Secret Service agent spotted a man with a rifle between three to 500 yards from the former president. Then sources tell ABC News the agent fired four to six shots towards the gunman. In the bushes where this guy was is a 8K47 style rifle with a scope, two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had a ceramic tile in them, and a GoPro. The gunman, identified as 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Routh, was detained after attempting to flee by car. He's now in custody with charges expected in the coming days. And sources say authorities are looking into whether Routh had grievances related to Ukraine, specifically frustrations with Trump's position on the issue. Routh's neighbor in Hawaii says he's shocked. He didn't cause any uh, uproar over any kind of political campaign or uh, inclination. Amid the gunfire, Trump was rushed to safety uninjured. Soon after the incident, Trump sent out a fundraising email writing, my resolve is only stronger after another attempt on my life, adding I will never slow down, I will never give up, I will never surrender. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris released separate statements speaking out against the latest round of violence. The VP and Democratic presidential nominee said, quote, I condemn political violence. We all must do our part to ensure that this incident does not lead to more violence. I am thankful that former President Trump is safe. Trump's golf plans were not publicized in any way. Sources tell ABC News there was no planned movement to the golf course that it was a last minute decision. I would imagine that the next time he comes at a golf course, there'll probably be a little bit more people around the perimeter. Christian Cordero, ABC News, Washington. Investigators say shell casings were found near the gun, but it's not clear if the suspect fired a weapon. Trump is expected on the campaign trail once again tomorrow when he's scheduled to hold a town hall in Michigan. But you will remember just about two months ago, Donald Trump was hit in his ear during an assassination attempt at a rally in Pennsylvania. Since then, the Trump team has stepped up security. We do have details about those measures in this story on our website under the Nation World tab.